Hey everyone, Jake here with TrendSpider going into the weekend analysis for President's Day weekend. Um, and what we'll be looking at in this video is SPY, QQQ, and USO, which are three of the broad market ETFs with USO being more of a commodity ETF representing US oil. So um, to get started, we did continue to move higher on the daily chart on SPY. And one thing to note from last weekend's analysis is the fact that we really bounced off this weekly SMA 20. So this is the overlay from the weekly chart with the the 20 week SMA on the daily. So essentially we're just taking these two lines from the weekly chart, overlaying them on the daily candle chart. So what we can see here is a nice bounce off the SMA 20, a breakthrough the SMA 50, which um, you know before this was the first area to break through and then the SMA 20 was the resistance back in November and December. This time around the SMA 20 was the first area to break through then the SMA 50 acted as resistance we found support here and then we really broke through into the end of the week. So this area is now kind of a trend line that's a function of the last two kind of peaks if you will back in November and December before the big move down into Christmas and so now we're kind of testing this area once again and we're really trading almost right at the 0.786 area which was the triple top area um, on the weekly Fibonacci area so this is as you know these two lines are the weekly moving averages this is the weekly Fibonacci retracement area. So we can see that if we did break through, this uh, 181 area on SPY would be the next area to watch. So all in all, definitely moving up higher. However, we are getting overbought on the RSI. The MACD is kind of showing signs of a bullish cross here, but the Vortex is also showing signs of possibly um, a pullback if the blue starts to converge towards the red and they cross. Um, if we look back in time, this has been an area when the, these cross that there has been more downside. So we'll just have to see what happens. If we did pull back, these two areas that were acting as resistance would then be the areas of support below. Um, from the tech side of things, QQQ kind of looking more at NASDAQ, we're look, looking a little different here. So um, notice we've got this big ascending wedge on the daily price chart and you can see here that we did break through the weekly SMA 50 here but not like we did on SPY so we're getting very close to the apex of this wedge this generally can be a setup for a breakdown um, notice how the RSI is not as overbought as it is on USO notice also that the MACD on or excuse me I said USO SPY Notice the MACD here is not as kind of bullish kissing, if you will, as SPY was. And the vortex indicator has really been kind of diverging now with the positive over the negative for quite a while. So um, we'll just have to see what happens. But this is not looking as promising as SPY into the rest of um, February. USO, though, which is kind of a representation of WTI oil, um, on the ETF side of things, this is looking great. So if you saw our Thursday analysis um, posted on Wednesday night, so we were able to kind of see what um, the second half of the week was looking at, we were right here. So we had just broken out of this symmetrical wedge. We pulled back to test this area, which was acting as resistance. It acted as support here. And then we had two big days up on Thursday and Friday. So we got the MACD cross that we were talking about. If the vortex indicator red crosses the blue. This could also be a confirmation of further upside. So notice here, kind of the same thing. When this crossed um, back in September of 2018, this actually confirmed further uh, upside. Same thing here. Um, this, however, this was kind of a fake out in the middle of the huge move down. So this was a false signal here when the red crossed the blue. It looked like we may continue up, but then we started the next leg down. Um, however, this time when the red crossed the blue, this definitely was a strong signal for further moves up. And, um, you know, this kind of seems to be almost a false signal to the downside with the blue crossing the red here. But now we're actually testing new highs and red looks like it's about to cross the blue again. So all in all, oil and energy are looking pretty strong. 
Um, notice how oil has not broken through the weekly SMA 20 or the weekly SMA 50 yet. So this seems to be kind of lagging behind, if you will, um, compared to SPY and QQQ. So that will be interesting to see if some of the oil companies continue up if uh, you know SPY or QQQ do take a pullback um, into next week. Remember, there's only four days of trading next week, so kind of a short week can always have some weird stuff going on. But all in all, this is a nice breakout and uh, possibly a test of the channel resistance above, which does coincide well with the weekly SMA here. So um, an update. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, you can also get an idea of kind of how our features work on our platform, especially multi-time frame analysis, being able, being able to overlay the Fibonacci levels, the indicators, and even if you wanted to mess around with the lower indicators, you can also add the longer term time frame here. So for example, if we wanted to look at the weekly vortex indicator, we can kind of see as well that we also recently just had the weekly cross so that could confirm the shorter term price action. So um, just an example of how you can use the platform. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Um, you can reach out to hello at trendspider.com or send us a message on any of our social media accounts. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. And we hope you have a great President's Day weekend.